Hello, welcome to Story Time with Dixie and Dixie's Book Club. Booba Fraggle's Giant Wish. Booba Fraggle wishes he were big enough to not be scared of gorgs any more. Booba Fraggle peeked out of the tunnel. He was worried. How am I supposed to get to the trash heap when a big gorg is waiting out there to thump me? Booba desperately needed some information and the all-seeing, all-knowing trash heap was always happy to tell a fraggle like Booba anything he needed to know. The problem was that the trash heap lived in the gigantic gorg's gigantic garden. Booba started to walk up and down the tunnel, muttering nervously. When the trash heap gave me the recipe for onion skin stew, she forgot to say how many onion skins to use. Booba kept thinking about his hungry friends, who were waiting for him to finish his stew. Oh, this is terrible, he moaned. Just then, the enormous eye of Junior Gorg peered into the hole. You still in there, Fraggle? boomed Junior. Booba was so scared, his stomach felt as if he had swallowed a boulder and his heart was thumping so hard he could barely breathe. As Booba felt his legs collapse beneath him, he heard a voice calling, Junior! It was Junior Gorg's mother. I need your help, O Prince of the Universe. In a minute, Ma, answered Junior. Ma Gorg put her hands on her hips. Junior, remember what happens to young Gorgs who don't do as they're told. Yes, Ma, Junior answered with a sigh. The do-as-you're-told monster comes and chases them around the garden. But that's just a silly old story. Still, Junior lumbered off toward the castle, just in case. The minute Junior was safely out of sight, Booba ducked out of the tunnel and bolted toward the trash heap. Oh, Madame Heap, panted Booba, forgetting all about the onion skin stew. Being scared of gorks is so bad for my health, it makes my stomach hurt and my heart go bum, bum, bum. I wish I were bigger, huge even, then I wouldn't have to be so scared. I've got just the thing, said the trash heap. She rummaged noisily through her tin cans and orange rinds and pulled up and pulled up an old fork. This is a magic wishing fork, she declared, hold, handing it to Booba. Whatever you wish while holding it will come true. But at sundown, you must return the fork to me. I need it to eat my supper. So, if you have to unwish a wish, do it by sundown. Otherwise, whatever you wish sticks forever. With that, the trash heap yawned and slowly sank into the leaves. As Booba walked back toward Fraggle Rock, he thought of all the different wishes he could make. He was thinking so hard that he didn't see Junior Gorg. But Junior Gorg saw him. Fraggle! shouted Junior. Booba froze. Then he clutched the magic fork harder. I, I wish I were as big as you, he whispered. The next thing Booba knew, his wish had come true. It worked, Booba gasped, looking at Junior eye to eye. I'm as big as the Gorg. Junior Gorg stared back at Booba. At first he looked puzzled. Then he looked surprised. Then he looked down right scared. Oh no, he shouted. Eh, 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 it's the do as you told monster. Meanwhile, back at Fraggle Rock, Gobo, Moki, Red and Wembley were waiting for their friend Booba to return. What's taking him so long? asked Red, rubbing her stomach. I'm starving. Maybe we ought to go find out if he needs help, suggested Moki. Well, if it's the fastest way to get dinner, let's go, said Gobo. So the four Fraggles set off towards the Gorg's garden. When they got to the opening of the garden, Gobo peeked outside. Look, he shouted. The other Fraggles crowded around the hole. Is that Booba? asked Moki. She couldn't believe her eyes. He's huge, said Red. He's chasing the Gorg, yelled Wembley. Booba's shop friend sneaked into the garden to get a better look. Gobo sat down on a hard object sticking out of the ground. I wish we knew what was going on he muttered. Suddenly they all knew the whole story. That's because Gobo was sitting on the magic wishing fork. Booba had dropped it after he had made his big wish. Booba, his friends all shouted together, the magic wishing fork, it's right here. Wish yourself back to your old size before it's too late. 
red pointed to the sky. It was almost sundown. Booba turned and saw his friends waving their arms and pointing to the fork. They looked very, very tiny. I don't want to be small again, he called down to them. When I was small, I was scared of everything. It wasn't healthy, but that's all different now, he turned to Junior. Hey, Gorg, I'm not scared of you. Junior just crawled under the wheelbarrow. Oh, Mr. Do as you told, Monster, I promise I'll always do as I'm told. Honest. Booba's friends were becoming more and more worried as the sun sank lower and lower. Booba, if you don't wish yourself small soon, you'll have to stay out here forever, shouted Moki. Where will you sleep? cried Wembley. Come back and finish your stew, called Red. Booba wasn't listening. He was too busy being big. Well, Gorg, now you know how we little fraggles feel when you big Gorgs chase us, he said. Junior peeked out from behind the wheelbarrow. Wait a minute. You mean you're a fraggle? he asked. I thought you were the do as your tall monster. No, I'm a big brave fraggle, said Booba proudly. But I'm not scared of fraggles, said Junior. N not even a fraggle who's as b b b big as you? B Booba gulped nervously. What's big got to do with it? You're a fraggle, not a monster, and I love to chase fraggles, no matter what size they are. Then Junior Gorg jumped up and lunged towards Booba. Booba the fork, shouted Gobo, as Booba ran past. He stuck the fork under Booba's giant toe. Ouch, roared Booba, hopping up and down. Junior was closing in fast. Make a wish, yelled Red. The sun was almost down. I wish I were the size of a fraggle again, yelled Booba. His wish came true. Suddenly, he was his old size again. The five fraggles raced toward the tunnel. But just then, Booba remembered the magic fork. Oh no, he wailed. I promise I'd get it back to the trash heap. Taking a deep breath, he dashed past Junior Gorg, grabbed the fork and ran as fast as he could. The trash heap was just starting her supper when Booba returned the fork. So, how did you like being big? she asked. It's just as unhealthy as being small said Booba, sighing. Being big doesn't mean you can't be scared. True, agreed the trash heap. But being small doesn't mean you can't be brave. You ran back here with my fork, even though the gorg was chasing you. That's what I call brave. Just then, Booba's friends ran in. Booba, are you all right? They all asked at once. I guess so, said Booba. The trash heap just said I've been brave. Well then, are you brave enough to try my new recipe? said the trash heap, smiling. Booba nodded. He closed his eyes and took a big gulp. It was delicious. Onion skin stew, he said. With six whole onion skins, added the trash heap proudly. Then Booba, his friends and the trash heap bravely finished every last drop. The end.